I want to clarify a new feature that's in Final Cut 10.1 that's a little tricky. So in my, I have a little folder here with all my sequences, and here it is. It's Twit Brickhouse version one. To the the feature is duplicate. So if I command D and duplicate that timeline, what it does is it comes up here and it adds a little suffix one. I wish I wish it would just do it right, but what it should have done is done two. And you know, After Effects can do that. I don't know why this can't. So at any rate, there's my version two. And when I double click it, I open it and it looks exactly like version one. So let's say I'm going throughout my day and I um, and I want to change versions. We're going to do a different cut of something, or we're going to we might want to go back to version one. So I have version one and I have version two. Now let's make our version two different. The way we're going to make the version two different is we're going to take the last eight shots of the video and we're going to do um, file, new, compound clip. Now because I have those selected, it is going to make a compound clip of those eight things, but not before I name it. So I'm going to, we'll name it the close. And I click OK, and now we have a single compound clip here. And if I come up here to my smart collection for compound clips, you can see I now have a compound clip. And if I double click on that, here is my last eight shots of the video. Okay, so we have an iteration here. Let's go back to sequences. So there's version one and version two has the compound clip. Now this is where it gets interesting. What we're going to do is we're going to take version two. And we are going to duplicate as a snapshot, okay? Duplicate project as a snapshot. And look at what it does uh, besides going into here. Uh, let's go all again. So I have version one, version two, and then I have version two snapshot at a particular date and time, okay? Wow, it's getting late. I should probably go to bed. Anyway, so uh, it's snapshotted at a, perf at a particular date and time. Now, I go into version two, and I'm looking at my um, at my um, my compound clip, and I'm thinking, you know, I wanna end this differently. So I open up the compound clip, right? And let's take the shot of Chad here with his red hair, because it's distinct. You notice it's the third shot from the end. We go Chad, UI, uh, John, and Leo on the set. So let's take Chad, put him at the end now. So now the last shot in the compound clip is Chad at the end, all right? So we're looking at version two, and we go, there we are. Oh, look at that, and Chad is at the end, okay? Chad is at the end. That's what it is in version two. But we snapshotted version two at a specific time, date and time. So if I double click on that, and now I go and I look at it, look at that. Chad is not the last shot. He's the, he's the third from the last shot, ending with Leo and John. Same compound clip, the close, go to number two, uh, just a straight duplicate. Same compound clip, the close, but a different iteration of it because this one was snapshotted in time. So when you snapshot something in time, it freezes the state of all compound clips so that you can change things willy-nilly. Now, if I were to go into version two here, duplicate it one more time, command D. Okay, now I have a two, one, and again, I wish it just did this right. Now I have a version three. I'm gonna double click version three. Now at this point, this is a straight edit change. And what do we have? I have Chad as the very last shot. So I'm gonna open this guy up and I'm gonna go, you know what, I want the user interface to be number three, to be the last shot. So in version three, in the compound clip, uh, the user interface is the last shot. Don't know why I would have done that. So here we're looking at version three and I play and I have the guys, and then I have Chad, and then I have the user interface in the compound clip. Let's go back to version two. This is the compound clip without being frozen in time. Double click on it, and guess what? The last few shots are the guys, Chad, and the user interface. Remember, that's not the way this was. This used to have Chad as the last shot. So you see, if I just duplicate, 
I don't freeze it in time. And if I shuffle things around in, a, in one compound clip, it changes in every instance of that compound clip. Now, it's important to remember, had this not been inside a compound clip, changing version 3 would not have changed version 2. This only matters if you're changing things inside of compound clips. Little interesting, little weird. I think snapshotting makes a lot of sense. I'm not saying I would always snapshot because I don't always have compound clips inside my timelines. At any rate, that's the difference between duplicate and duplicate as a snapshot. Later, later.